gosh, y'all, I look crazy. I know y'all tired of me saying I look crazy. But I just got my lashes done with India. And y'all, it's so ugly outside. I don't know if y'all could tell. It is so ugly. But anyways, um, yeah, I just got my lashes done and I'm trying to go a little shorter. So we're in the process. Um, because normally I do them like longer and like way more. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so we're in the process of like putting shorter ones in there while the longer ones like fall out. Cause honestly, I really shouldn't be. There we go. Because honestly, I'm on my phone by the way. Honestly, I want to do more of like the natural look. I don't know why, but I'm like kind of over. Don't get me wrong, I love me some thick lashes because like when I do my makeup, that's when they really pop. Because I feel like like really natural lashes start to they like I don't know how to explain it like like real natural lashes when you take a picture with flash I don't know if y'all feel me on this but when you take a picture with flash it's like they're so I don't know it's like they're barely there and I like thick ones because they be so black and so you can like see it in the flash photography and stuff like that so yeah I don't know I could be tripping but yeah so I meant to vlog earlier today but honestly I wasn't doing a lot um I went to Ruth Chris today and ate with my boyfriend and when I tell y'all I literally I don't like going to that place because it's like everything is so heavy there and it's like who's not gonna get the lobster rack when you go to Ruth Chris who's not gonna get this stuffed chicken you know what I mean so I definitely ate that and I just felt like oh my god I just felt like it was the worst decision of my life. Um, so now I'm about to go home and not eat. <laughs> Just drink water. I'm going to drink me my apple cider vinegar tea. Um, but yeah, so I really didn't do much today. I only went there because my boyfriend wanted to go there every time. He says, can we go there? I'm like, no, because it's so heavy. So we finally went. I was like, you know what? Fine, we'll go there because we've been saying it for the last couple of months. But, um, yeah, I'm actually going to go home and I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys because I got some new shoes and I'm so excited to show y'all. I love them. They're so cute. But, yeah, I'm going to show you what I got. And this vlog is going to be really short because it's, y'all, it's 7 o'clock at night and I turned on my vlogging camera. Honestly, because... You know, I just felt like, you know, I wanted to show you guys my shoes now. The car. And um, when I get home, I'm actually going to, like, chill for a minute because I got a headache. Um, I need to film because I have a sponsored video that needs to be done. So, yeah. It does that. and this weather is not making it any better i've yawned i'm not gonna lie like 20 times today I'm not. but anyways i'm about to be home so i'll see you guys when i get there so i'm back home y'all my lighting on my camera be so dark anyways my lighting on my camera be so dark like i can't wait until i get a new camera because this camera, and look, it's trying to autofocus and it's being terrible. Anyway, so this camera is the EOS 50, I believe, the Canon 50. And it's cool, but honestly, I don't think it's a good, like, blogging camera for, like, moving around and stuff. I don't know, to be honest. But I want to get the new camera. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's like the, it's the Sony. I have it on my phone. But anyway, so... I just got back home, and as you guys see, I am, or as you guys may hear, don't mind my juicer thing drying, but I'm warming up my kettle because I'm about to make me some tea, but I wanted to show you guys this right here, my candle. I don't know if you guys saw it on my story, but let me show y'all what it originally looks like. First of all, how cute are my hydrangeas? 
and this is a diffuser for you guys asking and i'll leave the link for you guys i'm going to be doing an amazon favorite so that's on the way but over here over here is my candle stash i normally have so many more but your girl has trying i'm trying to find more natural candles because i kind of noticed that sometimes these candles be giving me headaches like look at how dark this is like i don't know how to work this lighting it's terrible but anyways so this is what the original candle looks like it looks like this and this doesn't go with my little theme over there like it just doesn't so what i do is i just take off the wrapping paper and boom we get that so yeah these are like my little stashes i got this one from target it smells really good um i got these from target i really just got them because of the way they looked it's very aesthetically pleasing Ooh, you're all up in it boy like this one's black cute get away this one is one of my favorites too this cactus blossom but this one can be very 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 strong and i don't know where i'm gonna put this honestly i think i'm gonna put this one in my cleaning people came i don't know what they be doing sometimes like this is not go for the candle but i normally put like my candles that are like not very cute in this so i'm gonna put this in this and this is actually an old candle that I kind of just got all the old wax that when it was finished out of and I put it in there. You know, I gotta use what you got. Um, and it's actually really cute to be honest. It's a cute little candle, it goes with the, you know, it goes, it goes, it goes, you know, it's cute. Right, doo doo? Ooh, baby, you need a haircut, it's so bad. All right, so, ooh, see, look, when I be, my cleaning people be coming, I be having to, like, fix my stuff because they do not be, they just be, I don't know what they be doing, to be honest. I don't know what they be doing. But, y'all, so today I posted my Spanish rice cooking with me, right? And why did so many people try to tell me, so many people, first of all, the first comment that got me was, Mind you, I don't be like stressed over the comments. I don't let them get to me. I just read them because I'm trying to look for the good comments to reply to you guys that are true supporters. Whew. All them stairs got me out of breath. The true supporters and the people that, you know, really rock with me and aren't negative. But someone had the nerve to say, why is she cooking Spanish rice? She's not Spanish. Hmm. I had no idea, like I literally had no idea that I had to be a certain nationality, certain race to be able to cook a certain food. I'm only allowed to eat soul food because black people are known for soul food. What? Do you know, honestly, that's a boring life. I'm sorry if you're just eating and people are very picky eaters. People don't like to try other food to each his own, but I'm, I'm a foodie. I like all types of food. I literally love all types of food, like the weird foods. I be loving it. And not once have I felt like I can't eat that because I'm not that race or that I'm not Asian and I love me some kimchi, okay? Like, I never knew that. It's just crazy to me. And then someone was like, well, I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican and I've never had, seen Spanish rice made like this, okay? And <laughs> you make it however you make it and I make it however I make it. Don't get me wrong. Sofrito, I know all about sofrito, okay? I've had sofrito, my mom makes bomb sofrito and my mom is black. African American, as African American as it can get, okay? And she makes some bomb sofrito and guess what? She learned how to make it from her best friend who was Puerto Rican, right? I didn't put it in my rice, I didn't have any. I make my rice all different types of ways. I make it with the sofrito and without the sofrito. And guess what? They're good both ways. There's, it's okay to make things differently. There's no rule book saying you have to make chicken with pepper on it. I mean, I would hope you make chicken with seasoning because um, it's a little bland. There's no rule saying when you make chicken, you have to put seasoning on it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you don't put seasoning on your chicken, it's gonna taste really bland. <laughs> it's gonna taste very bland, and I love seasoned food. But I'm not about to be like, you know, you, you know you're supposed to put seasoning on there. 
on the rules, first of all, when you get rice, I'm sorry, I'm just giving a whole bunch of examples. When you get rice, right, a bag of white rice, jasmine rice, you can make so many things with that rice. You can do so many things with that rice, right? But it don't got no rules on the back saying how to make the rice. It tells you how to make the rice, like literally cook the rice, it'll give you that. But guess what? I can cook it in the pot, on the stove, or I can cook it in the rice cooker, right? Cool. But it doesn't tell me how I can make it, what I can make it with, what seasonings I can put in it, and which, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I'm getting like, it's like all over the place and like, I'm just like going in. But I just will never understand people. Like I'll never understand these people. It's like, people really, I don't know if you guys, people really just come on your channel. They just come to your Instagram. They just come to your whatever social medias you have. And they're like, they don't like you. They really don't like you. They don't like your stuff. They don't like your content. They don't like you. But they come on there, probably have your, the notifications on so when you put a new video up or new picture up, they can see it and comment negative things. That's what they live for. Like, I will never get you type of people. And if you're watching this, baby, you need help. Like, you really need help. Something's really wrong with you. Okay? But anyways, I wanted to show you guys my carpet. I don't know if I showed all this in my last vlog. I was telling y'all about my clean people my last time, right? My last vlog. Well, anyways, they came today. Y'all, look at my carpet. I, like, don't even want to walk on my carpet because it looks so nice. But I need to get my slippers because, yeah, I do not like walking barefoot on my own floor in my house. I don't know. Like, my floors be clean, but it just feels weird to walk around barefoot. So I always have on slippers. But I'm walking on my carpet. Gotta put my sneakers back. So I wanted to do an unboxing. I told y'all I was gonna do that. So let me get my stuff. Let me set y'all up. All right, so I got some new shoes the other day and they're so cute. You guys, let me tell you, I like, I really, really like these shoes. Like I already have <laughs> all right so okay so i got my bottegas okay these shoes are so cute like the colors i got oh my gosh we're gonna love them so oh my gosh this color is so freaking bomb y'all look at the color of this shoe I tell y'all this is so like this shoe is beautiful like as you guys can see I have other ones I have one two three four five six eight Bottegas now no I actually have ten because I have another pair downstairs that's in my suitcase for Miami and I have um a pair that's brand new that's in my other closet. I don't know why they're in there to be honest. But I love this, like, I love this color. It's so cute. I can't wait to wear these, honestly. I'm thinking about getting the little clutch, like the little black clutch, clutch that I have, the Bottega one. I'm honestly thinking of getting the little one to match these shoes. And just because I also need like a, a color bag and this isn't like a super, super bright color, you know what I mean? This shoe is like called Ice and this looks like Ice. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Literally can't wait to wear them. So now that they're out, I can put them on my shelf. I was saving them. Let's see here. more space y'all I'm running out of space for my shoes okay so my next pair my babies have a home now <laughs> and I don't know about you guys but when you guys get shoes do you always keep your like the little dust bags that they come with I do because I like to travel with them 
when I go traveling, I like to put the shoes in here just so they don't kind of get messed up. Um, and honestly, when I travel with shoes, I like to travel damn near every time with a whole nother suitcase. Well, mainly for my bags, to be honest. I travel with like another suitcase just for my bags and my suitcase, just for my bags and shoes. Cause baby, I am not gonna have no smushed bag. And it'd be hard to get like that crease, you know what I mean, out of the bag if it's smushed or folded the wrong way. And these bags do not be cheap, okay? So I always stuff them and then I also put the my bags in one of these as well because these bags are too expensive to just be thrown around. And when it comes to my shoes and my bags, I'm very careful with them on a regular basis when I'm wearing them, when I have like, you know, anything, especially when I'm traveling and they're in the suitcases closed in for a couple of hours. I be I can't like I honestly cannot wait until I get to the hotel so to unzip my suitcase so I can unpack them so they can like breathe and I can make sure they're not smashed. <laughs> this next shoe was like a must. Like I had to get it. Like it was a must. I think it was one of their newest ones I had just dropped too. So I was like, girl, you have to get it. I know it's the same shoe, but honestly, who wouldn't want a nude pair? Nude goes with so much, right? And another thing why I have so many of this shoe and why I like it so much is because, as you guys can see, it's not that tall of a heel. And these shoes are actually comfortable. Like, I can wear these shoes and be fine. Like, not saying my feet hurt. Don't get me wrong. If I had these shoes on for eight plus hours, my feet is probably going to be hurting a little bit. Because, I mean, heels, wearing heels that long, just walking on your feet. Who oh, baby. That's a long time. But um, these shoes are so stinking cute. And I love them because, like I said, they're comfortable. And honestly, I never thought I would like shoes that didn't have a back. But when I tell you these shoes are popping, these shoes are like a statement piece shoe. Like, these shoes are just like a must-have in your closet. Girl, I love it. And honestly, I got this shoe. So, I got a big foot, y'all. I wear a nine and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, depending on the shoe. And um, some of them I have in a nine, some of them I have, yeah, some of them I have in a nine. This pair, which is a different style from the other ones, I have this one in a nine and a half. And the two that I just bought, so these blue ones and these, I have in a 40, which is a 10. And the reason I did that is because I feel like my nine ones, like my foot just fits. And like the way the shoe is, my foot can kind of slide back a little bit sometimes so I can I kind of feel like sometimes it might look like my foot is too big so I got a 40 for that reason so it doesn't happen look at how cute these are y'all like they just look so cute on the foot like my room is this room is like a mess my desk is always a mess but look at how cute these are they're so cute but as you see like Honestly, I never had a nine and a half in these, which I feel like the next pair, the next pair I get, I want to get the white one. So I think I'm going to order that one um, in a nine and a half because that one will probably fit my foot perfectly. Like this one fits really good, but I feel like, I don't know if y'all can tell, you see that little teeny bit of room right there? I don't know. Like, how do y'all wear y'all shoes? Do y'all like your shoes? Do y'all like y'all shoes to be like just fitting or where you have a little room in there or too small <laughs> i honestly just love these shoes so much they're so cute like oh my gosh these nudes sis they're literally popping sis is about to make a home about to make a home for her I really need to cut. I really need to cut the tag off. Yeah, y'all. I need more space because I'm running out of space for my shoes. But this is my little Bottega shelf. Y'all, so cute. I have one more new shoe, you guys, that I've been wanting to show y'all. This shoe right here. Oh my gosh, she is so, she is so 
cute. These are the Amina Muwadi. I believe that's how you pronounce. And when I tell y'all, I'm not a color girl, but I saw these online. They had a bright pink one, but they didn't have my size. And I saw these and I was like, ooh, these purple ones are not like too bright, but they're like still like really girly. And when you put them on, they strap all around. Like how cute is that? Like how freaking cute is that? I love a good sparkle shoe. It gives me very much girly. <laughs> Gonna put mama's back right here. There we go. Let me get these slippers because these little Amazon slippers do not belong on this type of shelf, I mean. <laughs> no, no, no. So y'all, that was my little unboxing, my little luxury unboxing. And y'all, I can't wait to wear those shoes. I can't wait to just be able to like, I just wanna go on vacation so bad. And just like do some looks, you know, go shopping for a specific trip. You know what I mean? Like, I miss those days. I haven't been able to do that in so long. Like when I went to Miami, it was so random. I just took like what I had already. Mind you, I do have a lot of clothes that I haven't worn already just because, I don't know, I just be buying stuff because it's like you want to have stuff just in case for things like that or you know, some things you want to buy because they're just super cute and it'd be selling, you know, like it's going to be sold out quick or, you know what I mean? So, that's how I like to shop. But, um, I ain't going to lie, I hate shopping under pressure. I ain't going to lie, I hate shopping last minute before a trip because my outfits for my trips be trash. Like, if I don't be posting on a trip, you probably know because my outfits were so last minute and I, my stuff probably didn't even get here. So, I had to make do. And I don't know about y'all, this might sound very much bougie, whatever you want to call it, but if I have an outfit and it's like an outfit that kind of stands out, like it's a popping outfit and I posted it on my Instagram, I'm never wearing it again. Like this, this I'm wearing every day, damn near, okay? Something very simple, black leggings, very basic, I'm wearing every day. You probably haven't seen it on my stories multiple times. But like outfits that are like popping that you know I like put together and like bought for a certain occasion. I'm never wearing that outfit again. Especially like a set type of outfit, you know what I mean? Um, but if I wear an outfit that's like a top and I got these jeans on, I'll probably wear the jeans again with like a different shirt, different top. Like you might not even notice I really wore those jeans. But Still, rare for me to like post it again on my Instagram. Like, I don't know, as a, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, like I just don't like to repeat outfits and that's why like I really need to get rid of like a lot of my clothes. Like I wanna donate so much of my clothes because oh, honestly I have so, 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 so much clothes like that I'm never gonna wear again, that I'm, I'm not gonna wear, that like have been sent to me. Um, and then my designer clothes, I want to sell because, you know, I'd be paying a good penny. So, you know, I could give them away, but honestly, I paid a good penny for that. So, um, you know, you be smart about it. You sell it so you can get some more, right? Got to be smart. So, um, you know, I really need to be selling my stuff, to be honest, because, like I said, if I put a picture up on my Instagram and I wore it already, girl, I'm probably never going to wear it again. Even, like, when I go out here... In Atlanta, and I'll go out and I have an outfit on. If I didn't even get to take a picture, then I'll be so mad because I'm like, damn, this is a fire outfit. And I didn't take a picture. Honestly, I don't even be wanting to wear it out again because I'm like, them people might have saw me in this outfit. I might see them again in the same spot. They're going to remember me in this outfit. You know what I mean? So I'm like, mm -mm, I ain't going to wear that again. But honestly, with them type of things, I just wait a long time, like a long, long time and rewear it to a different spot not the same spot i wore it last time of course or i just wait and wear that out of town um because whoever like when i'm out of town them people don't know me they ain't never seen me before like when i go out of town i like to yeah so that's just how i do it. i don't know about y'all y'all can leave whatever comments y'all want about that but that's just me that's just what i do and i know a lot of y'all probably don't wear the same outfits again either like Y'all know, I really just wanted to show y'all my new shoes. Oh, hold on y'all. 
I got this new foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I got it in the shade 4W4. And honestly, it might be too um, light for me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just be smelling stuff. We're going to see. But I've always wanted to get my hands on this. But I just never really like took the time to go pick out my shade. And it's harder now. I got... It's very hard to pick out your shade now because if you go in the stores, it says you can't touch. And they have it like taped off and stuff so you can't touch it. Like in Sephora and Ulta. So it was really hard to pick my shade. But um, I hope this works. It's supposed to be like a matte foundation. And I've been liking matte lately. I don't know why. Like matte just really makes your face look very put together, I feel like. Especially now that it's getting it's hot outside. Sis wants makeup to stay on all day because them um dewy foundations baby be looking like a bucket of vaseline when i get home yeah y'all i'm about to go downstairs and make me some of my apple cider vinegar tea like i told y'all i was gonna do and take this hair out of this bun because that's why i got this damn headache my buns be so damn tight i'm gonna go ahead and get off in the vlog for today but yeah i'll see you guys later